Well, good morning, or should I say good afternoon, everyone, right? We did have a good morning this morning. We entertained uh, my grandson and some of his friends, and then we had a little meeting with him. It actually went pretty well, didn't it? Yeah, very nice, yeah. Really four, nice. Four teenage boys. <laughs> yeah, one time. And we sat them down, and we asked them, basically, uh, they didn't, weren't expecting this. You know, I asked them who they were and who they wanted to be, you mm -hmm. know, and what they wanted to do with their life later on, you know. So I thought that was kind of interesting, and they seemed to uh, enjoy it quite a bit. Sounds like the birds are joining us. Yeah, it's you peaceful. Yeah, it's I know, very right? nice outside today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably around 60 degrees here in Virginia Beach. Sun is shining, and uh, some people have green grass. We have a little bit of green grass, too, you know, because uh, working on our grass this year. That's but, the whole point. Yep. You yep. work on it, you get good results from it. That's just very true, very true. And that's going to bring us right to our subject. We're going to talk about working with family, and uh, can you work with family? Uh, how about should you work with family? Mm -hmm. You know, being we're a family business, I feel like, you know, that I'm in a pretty good position to be able to talk about working with family. Uh, with having eight brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. My wife's family's been in it. Yeah, my brother, my dad. Yeah. You know, uh, I started this business probably, what, good, around 1985. And during that time period, uh, I, I employed my brothers, Tom and Keith. Mm -hmm. and, and Kevin. And Kevin. Kevin, that's right, and David some. I have to pull out some pictures. I have them with the old Von Schroeder machines yeah, back yeah. in the day. So, you know, I, people don't know, but I have four brothers and four sisters. And one of the, one, two of the sisters worked for us. And one, three Chris, of the sisters. Christine. Three of the sisters. Karen. Oh, that's right. I have pictures that's of Karen. That's right. That's right. So three of the sisters that worked for me. And, Who was um, the other one? Chris, Karen. And Valerie, too. Valerie came up and worked shop some. Remember, okay. she worked the office when we had up on Providence. So you see, I've had, I, I've had the wide variety of, of array of family work for me. I've also had nephews working for me, but Cody, Seth, right? Seth, that's right. I forgot about that. Nicholas, Nicholas, yeah. I've had wow. <laughs> I've got a large you know, David Shope, my, David know? too. Yeah, mm -hmm. David. that's right. So I've had a wide variety of family members work for me, and, I, and basically, I was talk, going to talk about what do you think about working with family, and what I found <laughs> is. It's just as simple. If it works, it's great. If it doesn't work, it's not so great. <laughs> it's not going to work. Yeah. It <laughs> There's might... pros and cons, I think, in that. Um, number one, it helps benefit the family. But you also have to know your space. And Like I have an office at my house now a lot because I feel like when I'm not in the office, the other employees and other family members that are there can do their job better than me, overseeing them constantly trying to do their job when I'm better at my job at home. So I think that you have to find out what works for you too. And I'll go in there occasionally, but if I was in there every single day, then it probably wouldn't work, at least wouldn't work for me. Right. But, so, it, ha but it has worked for you and I work together. My wife and I work, she worked out in the field with me yes. for almost 10, 15 years, right? Yeah. Long time. I used to pull the hoses in, do the spotter upholstery. kit, upholstery cleaning, stair cleaning. Some, some stairs and stuff like that she would do. And I remember one, t one day though, she came home, she says, okay, I'm done. That's after about doing 11 pest jobs every day, too. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, that. in the field, I you were done. I cannot keep up with you nor Keith. Right, right. But I'm just saying, you were done in the field, and yes. rightfully so. You know, I was very happy to have her in there, because by having her in the field, clients felt a lot more at ease. Right. They yeah. felt, you know, it was much more trustworthy having a woman there. Uh, women can relate with women when it comes to cleaning, so that was really good. What was nice, though, about me going out in the field with you in the beginning was those same customers throughout the years know me. Decades. And so, yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Giving her age away, yeah. right? <laughs> so all that time period, I've related to them over the phone. They felt comfortable calling again and using us again. So that was a big, big plus right there. Yeah, it's always And it also helped me understand what the technicians go through as well and what Robert may go through. You know, if he's got a job or he needs to meet a technician at a, a job, I understand Sometimes it might run later than you expected or whatever. So I'm not one of these ones that say, how can we work home at five? Or, you know, <laughs> right. we tried that one time to not do business after five, but it just didn't work. It, yeah. So, so you basically get, you, you end up by going out in the field, you get the full picture of what we all go through. But the fact is, you know, going back to family, we were able to work together. Mm -hmm. We have personal, the, the personality traits that can work together. I've, I've seen some um, husband and wives, they can't. I would never see them working together. Right, no. Then one of them might kill each other, you know <laughs> what right. I mean? But we've always gotten along, and we, you know, we just kind of bounce off of each other, and it works, and right. it works really good for us. So I say, like I said in the beginning, it's probably a good idea to give it a try. If it can work, there's a ton of benefits, like Sandy mentioned there. A ton of benefits. It keeps the money in the family. 
it um, builds, uh, I think it helps build your relationship. Well, I think it also helps build the business so that when you do have employees, you can share the benefits with them and and to pass it on and to have, because you want a big group of team to become like a family to you as well. So the company grows and it benefits, you know, everyone involved in it. I love to see people do good and love to help them progress too. Yeah, and, and honestly, I couldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for my wife and especially my son. No offense, but my son especially because he has all the computer skills to get truck mount forums going. He got the he got the website up for for our company. He also worked 15 years in the field. A lot of people don't realize it. I know he's doing a lot of the back end computer work now, and he still works in the store and helps shipping and stuff like that. And every once in a while, he's still out to do jobs. You know, if he has to, you know, he's there. So it's nice to have that full rounded benefit. And my son and I have always gotten along. We probably only had one or two arguments, except when he was a teenager. Yeah. When he was for me. When he's a teenager, <laughs> and we got a teenager. That's always a little bit, a little bit tough. And I think my wife and I maybe only had one or two disagreements also through the years. So you have to know yourself. And I was right both times. Oh, ouch. <laughs> so you have to know yourself. You have to know your mate. You have to know your family members and see if it can work together. So it's worked really good for myself, my wife, and my son. Now let's go back to my brothers. Okay. Two of them. Uh, They're excellent cleaners. The, yes, and they are. One of them does carpet repairs. Excellent. The dilemma sometimes was having to call certain ones to come up every morning to make sure they're coming into work. And that was many, many years ago. And it just became became frustrating. It was... Well, they were too familiar with us, I think. So they felt like if if they could come in late, well, that's just my brother. You know what I mean? They didn't have that same respect that they would normally have. Didn't make them a bad people. They are great people. Everybody who meets my brother, Tom and Keith, I wasn't uh, going to name they, they love ones. them. Huh? I wasn't naming which brothers, oh, but oh well, no, there we but go. People, but, but people love them. I mean, you ask anybody on the boards, people say, hey, uh, Keith is it, it is the much nicer Rob. You know what I mean? Or much, you know, much more up. Right, Keith, has all, Keith has all that energy. And Tom, he's just a, you know, he's just a tough guy. He's you know what I mean? He's casual. Right, right, right. He's a kind of a surfer. I have to drink coffee backslash. and keep up with Robert and Keith. And they yeah. neither one. I think Keith drinks some soda, but you don't drink either. Or but, 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 but let's think about it for a second. Here's what happened. Why aren't we still working together? We worked together for many years, my brother's not. But however, what we found out was there was too many chiefs, not enough Indians. They wanted to make the calls. I wanted to make the calls. But I owned the company, and I brought them into the industry, so I felt like I had the right to make the calls. So they went out on their own, and we don't mind. There's plenty of work to go around for everybody. We even help each other back and forth now, refer here and there, too. Yep, we'll give Tom some carpet repairs. We'll give Keith some carpet jobs. They'll give us some stuff or some water damage and things like that. We'll help each other out. So you see, there's there's a lot that goes into the dynamics of a family, but you need to understand, you know, is it clicking? Is it not clicking? Mm-hmm. You know, and don't carry it on too long if it's not working. Right, because you don't want family tension. So I, with Robert even, I literally, like, even when I'm at the shop, if he says, hey, do this or do that, I respect it and I do that. I act as just like I'm an employee as well because I think it makes it work versus me saying, you know, whining about it or complaining about things that I cannot stand. Um, <laughs> right. So I just do it. And I don't always expect him to say thank you and please all the time either. I mean, he's balanced with that too. But there's some things that he'll tell me to do. And I'm like, why is he asking me that kind of in my mind? But then usually I'll figure it out afterwards if that's why he wanted me to do something. Or sometimes he will explain it to me. Sometimes he just does it. And it always works out. It's just he knows in his mind what needs to be done and to get it done efficiently and effectively. So I think it's good to have employees or family members to understand that, respect that. And if I didn't handle something correctly, believe me, when I get home, she's going to let me know. (laughs) Yeah, I think there's a time and place to bring things up. Right. To explain things or say, hey, can we do this differently maybe another time or, you know, might work out better this way. But not in the moment, not in front of them anybody else really i'm supposed to do what i'm supposed to be doing and, and vice versa you know he handles his load too yeah and i try to be respectful i always try to be respectful to all the employees but i think with family even on the other side of the spectrum sometimes i would probably say things to a family member i wouldn't normally say to an employee you know i might get on them a little harder or, or, or say something so you have to you kind of have to be or balanced more. yeah or respect more so i think you really have to understand can you work together if you can it's a blessing so i've always said it's a two-edged sword one side, it cuts through, uh, you know, a lot of uh, uh, problems you might have out in the industry, you know, or, 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 or with your business and with clients because you know they're going to treat them honestly, fairly. They're going to be kind. They're going to be good. But then on the other hand, they might want more time off. They might want more money and they just feel entitled to more. And maybe they, maybe they deserve that. And that's why my brother's well, ended up on that. I think one, that's good, fine. one good thing, our son um, had his son, Mike, our grandson, 
take a business course first mm -hmm. before he even let him out in the field. So he comprehended all the background things that go on before he went out in the field to handle things and to respect other people, to take the trash out and things like that. So he learned it from bottom up to not feel that he's just a, you know, privileged just because he's in the family. No, we want everybody to be respected all across the board and stuff like that. But even like Robert, he's got his mind going so fast that my mind doesn't work like that. So we've had to balance out. I'll say, well, why don't you just text me the three things you want done in an importance or put it on a board or something. And then that I know that you want this and this done instead of like all at one time to get overwhelmed. And that helped. I think that's helped us throughout the years too. Absolutely. And uh, now I want to go back to a little bit more extended family. We'll go outside of the family a little bit. I remember uh, my, my wife's father was uh, a fantastic carpenter, but it, the time oh, came yeah. where carpentry got really hard for him or actually it was the economy, wasn't it? Because remember we had, had uh, we went through some, uh, a couple of recessions and I think your, your father asked, uh, you know, what about carpet cleaning? Right. So we he helped him get started. A, like a time sharing. He was doing time sharing. I think that's and what then it they was. And Myrtle Beach. Done, yeah. Myrtle Beach. And Myrtle Beach. So I helped him get started in carpet cleaning down there and he was able to make a really good living off of that. And up until the time he passed, God mm -hmm. forbid, missing me, they were great people. Uh, and then your brother for a while until he got injured at his other job. Remember, he didn't he have a fall or something. Yeah, I think he fell. And yeah, he was doing construction also and he fell, but he was doing carpet cleaning for, for a little while. And then eventually his, his body just got so bad off. He's on what's it called uh, when you when you when the government pays you. Because a disability. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's on disability. He, he, he deserves it. Well, he went through cancer. And serious too, cancer so and stuff like that. Things, right. Yeah. He went through some serious falls at work. I mean, he, he fell 15 or 20 feet at a construction site. But my, my mom cancer. would answer Boom. the phone for my dad. So that worked out pretty mm. good there. And she would help out. There's no thing too. you know, if you're if your wife is able to answer the phone and you're out cleaning boy that's a big advantage right there because you don't have to sit there and, and take all the calls and she knows it and she can relate to them she can really set the uh set the jobs i found sandy could probably set a job better than anybody hardly uh you know that we know uh that, we, that we've ever hired thanks you know <laughs> but, but i will say that I, I will say ashley she's really doing fantastic yes yeah, she is yeah she's, she's giving you a run for your money Sam. that's all right she really is, which is she good. She gets paid for. Exactly, and that's what you want. You, you want people who can, you know, mimic your, you know, your good traits and put them to work and uh, be able to set jobs and stuff like that. So here we are. Basically, I want to come back full circle. What do you think about having family work for you? We found it's a blessing and it's a curse. It's a blessing if you can get along with family members and you can work together. That's great. So get to know each other and maybe give it a trial. If you can't work together and you have to have two separate go two separate ways. There's nothing wrong with that because some people just can't stay together for 8, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. Right. Like Robert and I, we used to go out every day, sometimes at jobs, and I'd answer the phone while we're doing, while he's doing the job even. That's right. But now that I've gotten older as well and done it for so long and just have other things behind the scenes on my plate too, it's easier for me to say, you know what, you go to the shop because he has to handle more people too now too than it was just for us to. That it just works out better that way for me too to kind of step back and let them do their job, let Robert handle what he needs to handle at the shop. And then, okay, so that, that kind of covers the mates right there. Now, when, when it comes to children, uh, like I said, if, I see a lot of people come and then here, and I'll get to it in a second, basically saying that if you can have your child and you can raise them up, it's a fantastic trade to go ahead and teach them. I mean, you know, how much a business school could cost. So if you could train them up from young, you know, and, and teach them the field, but, you know, get to know your children. Make sure that's what they want to do. Don't force it on them. I never forced it on my son. I encouraged him to, and right. didn't he work a couple? He worked a couple other jobs, he right? He did. He worked at a printer company, like yeah, a big print company. computer, and he went to work for a computer company afterwards. Mm -hmm. So he cleaned carpets with me when he was a teenager. Then he took a computer course and went and worked for a computer company, and then he came back and he started cleaning carpets with me, and he and he started getting much more involved. After that, he started truck mount forums because he's so good at computers. He built me a website. He's uh, basically to handle this group. He's, he's built tmfshop.net, tmfacademy.com, the YouTube videos. To so see how it's been a huge blessing having him to work for us. It's had been a huge blessing having my wife. We could never be where we're at today without all of us working together. So there's definitely a lot of power and uh, a lot of benefits to it. But now my brothers, uh, God bless them. I love them to death. But it was too many chiefs, not enough Indians. So they started their own company, and now we all work amicably together. We're basically strategic yeah. partners, you know. So that that works. And just was, remember, j just remember real quick, 
there's going to be a lot of nuances when you're hiring family. So just be aware, you know, don't remember when you're inside the picture, you can't see the picture. When you step outside the picture, you can see the picture. So that's what it royal really boils even, down to. Even to down to where we both, we all get paid. It's the same as the schedule as the other employees or the time off or whatever. And time vacation, we've all had to kind of work that together mm. now to say, you know, okay, well, this is going to be a business trip. But then what about like the personal time trip for all of us together, whatever. We have to still balance that together instead of everyone taking it all off at the same time. And you also have to be careful not to, if you're going to have family work for you, be careful not to show favoritism. I really think that's uh, the, that's important. I, I think that your children or your relatives should have to go by the same standards and meet the same criteria as everybody else does. Because if you, if you don't, employees are going to sense that. And they're not going to feel like they have well, a I good career it, or right. or they're not going to have a good future. They feel like, well, it's just all going to children. That's going to have, you know, how I think that, for them. example, like all of us, like we all wear work shirts when we're there. Now, Friday's like mm -hmm. a casual day. As silly as it may sound, even I, a lot of times, will throw on my work shirt and I'm working at home. Nobody sees me, but it just puts me in that mode That's of true. doing my job. It's just me. I just think it works. So you have to do what works well for you as a family as well. But back to where you were saying you don't want to force your kids, I kind of I disagree a little bit with that. I think that if you kind of push your children a little bit to get to them to know what you do at a young age, then they can kind of respect all the hard work that you might do or how it works and then... Then it might come around later. It's kind of like when you teach someone to play a piano, you're telling your child, no, you're going to make this time out for an hour a day. You're going to play it whether you like it or not. And it teaches them a skill that I think that they can have as they're older. Now, wait a minute. I just want to and also just fall backtrack back, they a don't little follow bit. Back with the family. Just to backtrack a little bit, I did say as they're coming up, up into their teens and stuff like that, I think it's a great idea to do it. But I think at that point, when they're becoming a, young, a man, I think it, it's, it's up to them to make a choice of what they might want to do. They might not want to clean carpets. They might want not want to do fire and water restoration. Oh, right. Kind of like you know? Micah. Like yeah. Micah had mentioned recently. I mean, the kid can Our clean great. He is. can do the great patterns that I love to see. He knows how to work with people. Right. He's friendly and stuff. And But he just said, like, he wants to travel a little bit. So why not travel first? Get that out of the way before he gets more responsibility on his plate, perhaps if he gets married or has kids. You know, then he's sure. already gotten a lot of that out of his system. He can still travel with family and kids, but yet... Being single, just, you know, it's maybe still trying to figure it out. It might not be a whole career that he wants to do all the way. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. But he so, still has that under his belt if he decides, hey, this is what I want to do. Yeah, it's it's a trade he could fall back on because really he could go. I, I Even if he's not with you, with us here. I've always said, and I'm teaching him too, and I told my son this too, I feel like you could uh, hook a parachute to me, a small carpet cleaning machine, put me in an airplane. <laughs> this wouldn't be fun, but you could do it. Put me in an airplane. Some people anywhere. like to do this. Some people like to put me on an airplane without a parachute. <laughs> I can tell you that on the board. So let me tell you that much, right? But anyway, put a parachute on me. Put a carpet cleaning machine on me. Fly me across America and drop me off anywhere. And I promise you I can have a one, two, three truck operation in a short period of time. Because I've got that experience. I've got that knowledge. I've got that base foundation. And, and so desire. I'm not... So, and, and the desire too. So I feel like we could... Um, what's that old expression? You can either give your child a fish or you could teach them to fish. So basically what I'm doing, uh, and I, I agree with my wife on that, we have instilled that in my son. And look, he came back to it. He went away from it for a while, and he came back to it. Now he's in it full-fledged. I feel like my grandson, I made him go through the TMF. I didn't make him, but I encouraged him to go through the TMF his Academy. Dad made him go through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his dad did. Had him go through the TMF Academy. I've had him work with me out in the field. I've had him work with me in the shop, work with his dad in the shop, work with his dad out in the field. And now he wants to travel some. He's becoming a young man, 17 years old or so. So he's becoming a young man, and he might want to travel and do something else. That's great. But on the other hand, he's got two things going for him. He's got that foundation mm -hmm. of that knowledge and how to run a business, and he can start it up anywhere he wants to. If he decides, I hope he doesn't. I hope he decides to, to, to plant his roots here. But if he decides to plant his roots in Florida or California or, or even in another country, more than likely, he'll still have that basic foundation. So you see... There's a lot of blessings and a lot of great stuff that can come from a family business. Hey, look at um, look at Walmart. Those oh, kids yeah, today yeah, are still yeah. billionaires and get billions of dollars because of what Sam started. Sam started Walmart and got his all his family in there, and now he it, it got all divided up to his family, and they're all benefiting from right. it still. And then even like the employees the, who started out mm, have the right. stock in them, and they just you know grown and grown and grown. Right. And like, for example, not showing favoritism to kids, even in the business or uh, your relatives or family or whatever. With Micah, even, I had one time told him he was getting a little like, what, 15 or so. He was like, mm, 
little sarcastic here and there. And I said, no, you look around and see these employees that one day they might be able to fire you. I wanted him to respect and understand just because you are family does not mean that you have the privilege to walk around and act like you want to be yep. disrespectful to other people. Let's look at a couple things here. Uh, Maria. Hi, Maria. That's Maria, Hi, Maria with Kevin there. We're looking forward to you guys coming out. She says, hey, you two. Amazing family business. Love how everyone works together so nicely. Yeah, you know, we basically... Uh, somebody had commented, one of our workers, they said, and I don't know if I even mentioned this to you, did I? What Jason said? No. He said, I'm really impressed how you and your wife work together as a unit. Mm -hmm. And then your son, too. You all work together as a unit. So I don't, we don't even really think about it. We just do we it. Just do it yeah. But I just want you to know, Maria, we've had some family members that didn't work together so much as a unit. But we still love them, and they have their own businesses or their own careers now, and it worked out fine. So I think it all boils down to if you can. It seems like her and Kevin are doing fantastic together. You guys are a power couple. A power I remember couple. one employee that really made my day, though. She posted a thing up to everybody to even see about how we... Uh, she liked where she worked because of the fact that we all got along and we were funny and friendly and, you know, didn't curse like at the employees or whatever. We got upset or whatever, things that went on. But that was really nice. She, But she did liken us to that show. It's an old show where the Opie was on there. Oh, yeah. She said it was like, <laughs> uh, oh, wow, what was that show? How... Um, how I'll leave it to Beaver was the other one. What was it? They said, they said it was. It felt like they were a part of that show. Oh man, I, I can't. Opie, when is yeah, Opie yeah. Opie was. I, I can all. I can still hear the tune in my head, but I can't remember <laughs> it right offhand. Wow. But that gives our I age away. Whistle, big but time. I'm not too good at whistling. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I can whistle a little. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I can't. I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna go there. Okay. All right. Someone else might know. Well, yeah. I don't know. What right. was that show that? Uh, what was his name? It was Ron he does Howard. Ron Howard. That's when it. he was a kid, what was that show called? I don't know. Any, honey, I've been talking anybody know the name of that show? When Ron Howard was a kid, maybe somebody knows about it. Yeah, I think that's great, Maria, and no, no doubt about it that you, that you and Kevin can work together. And you know, there's going to be some friction sometimes, a little bit. But I think if you never show it in front of customers, if there's going to be, discuss it oh, right. at, at another time. Don't I ever discuss it. I will give Robert it. a look, and I know I have over the years, but I try <laughs> to do it when the, when the customer's not watching or or even an employee. Somebody else isn't watching. It's between us two. But he knows, like, okay, let me pull back a little bit what I'm saying or what I'm doing, and we'll pick this up later. Oh, Lord, you got yourself a, a seven-digit ID code in there. Look up that show Ron Howard's part of. I can't. Ron Howard was a kid. What was it? Mayberry RFD. Oh, thank you, guys. That's it. I Nobody said it, but it was Andy Griffith show. That's it. Andy Griffith. Yeah, Mayberry. People, Chuck, people say when they come work for us, they say, and, and <laughs> Reginald saying Andy Griffith here. I appreciate that, guys. People say when they come to work for us, it's like working at the Andy Griffith show or basically Mayberry RFD because yeah. we have such old-fashioned values. Absolutely. We haven't killed each other yet, she yeah. said. <laughs> Neither we, you know. But, you know, we have, you know, and I tell people when they come to work for me, and this is interesting right here. I tell them we're a family business, and I do this on the interviews. I tell them, I said, listen, we have very old-fashioned values, okay? And it kind of conflicts with some of the new values these days. So basically, and, and the way I describe it is, you know, if you ever were a kid and you played that game where you had the circle hole in a table, yeah. you had a square, you had a rectangle and a triangle. And if you ever and if you ever tried to take one that was the wrong size and put it in there when you're a kid, you try to force it in there, it just doesn't work. So we're a square, old-fashioned company. If you just read our reviews, you know, we have hundreds and hundreds of reviews. And if you read them, you can tell that. People say, oh, Rob, you hire the nicest people and stuff like that. That's probably the biggest compliment we get mm -hmm. is we hire the nicest people. So I tell people when I hire them, I say, listen, we have old-fashioned square values. All right, And I'm not saying that we're uh, uptight or nothing like that. We're still friendly. We're still funny. But anyway... I, I have to make sure that they fit our family values, or I should say at least our family value company. You know what I mean? Right. And even over time, though, I personally have had to kind of like, um, adjust? kind of get a, adjust, yeah, to a different understanding of the generation and the times. And, mm. you know, even like, I think, not be so stiff necked or so, so hard. Yeah, uptight, uptight. basically. Yeah, yeah. Right? Basically, uptight. Can we call Sandy at, at the shop what? <laughs> <laughs> They've all nicked their, nicknamed their safety Sandy. Sandy walks through there and says, okay, we got to get this right. Let's do this. And I've heard people tell me, you know, Sandy can tell you in the nicest way <laughs> to get something done that you should have been doing, you know, for a long time. You know what I mean? Wow. It's like she can, she can counsel you just real softly. And I think that's a really a good trait right there, you know. So keep that in mind. But anyway, coming back full circle, I'll go ahead and end this. It's basically family, working with family. Yes, you can do it. And no, you have to know yourself. 
You have to know your mate. You have to know your children. You have to know your extended family. But I'm going to tell you what. Sometimes I've seen people work together who are family members, not in our family, mm-hmm. where now they don't even talk to each other anymore. Yeah, that's sad. That's where I think the point is you need to pull back when yes. things aren't working out at the beginning. And or, let- or you know what? It's better to suffer the little hurt early on than something larger later on. Right. So if there's if you so think you it's going to be get problematic, to the point where you guys don't talk as family, never, or right. husband wife, or calls us, oh, the horse, divorce, right. divorce. Yeah. yeah, I've seen yeah, it, absolutely, I've seen it. You know, so it all boils down to is knowing yourself, knowing your mate, knowing your children, knowing your extended family. Try to find out early. Don't get it, and you know what? Think about it before you go into because I've always said partnerships and friendships, and so that can work with family too. You know, and even yeah. somebody that's not family, well, suppose you got a great friend. And they're like family to you. People say that. Well, maybe even like an adjustment, like before, you know, they would like wear a company shirt out to the jobs. But when we started the office kind of situation, it was a little change that, you know, some of the ones, some family members even were like, mm, they want to do the work shirt thing or they wanted to dress up or whatever. Yeah. And I personally had to start being firm about it because we wanted it across the board. So sometimes those things you have to just tweak and set it whether they like it or not. And that kind of. I think makes that family bond stronger in the long run. At first, it's a little like, uh, And that's where you have employee procedure manuals and right. meetings to make sure everybody's on the same page. That everybody Everybody to has follow. to be on the same page. Mm-hmm. I'm going to scroll back and see if I missed any questions here. I'm sorry, guys. We got yeah, talking sorry. there. I can't see a thing on there hardly. But it's really small whatever. print. That's why I'm wearing my glasses here. Let's see. A back up here. Christopher mm-hmm. King. I like Christopher King said here, put your work clothes on and you're ready for work. Absolutely. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of truth to that. Like I said, Robert would come home and I got my work shirt on. He's like, yeah. why do you get a work shirt on? I was like, yep. I'm working. Mm-hmm. She's working. Even though she's working at the house, she feels like she's working. Mm-hmm. Back up here. See so if there's anything else here. Appreciate all the input here too, everyone. Let's see. Love your car talks. Thanks. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, Joe, too? Packers beat the 49ers today. Go Pack. Okay, all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's only there's only four teams left, right? It's going to be interesting see how it all develops here. What else we do, too, we get everybody involved of, like, decision-making sometimes, whether it's a label or um, a scent or something like that that here we're we doing go. for products. Michael Giras says, uh, waiting for my son to turn 17 next year. He's anxious to come help me run things. Very Aww. good, Michael. Yeah. I think that's awesome, man. Hey, take some videos. Take some pictures because that's a very valuable. So I wish I had more pictures of my son Trey working with me out cleaning carpets. We didn't have much for. We didn't have cell back phones in the back day, in. We had, had the pagers. Little, they have them now today too. The little um, camera that pulls out that prints out the. Oh yeah, the Polaroids. Polaroids yeah. Oh wow, you're really giving our age away here. Yeah. Let's see. He went down that road already today. He fired his brother-in-law. Ooh, I tell Ooh. you. Hey, you know what difference between in-laws and outlaws is? Outlaws are wanted. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Dear. No, but see, you know what? That's where I think sometimes you have to. You're going to have to be Well, look Well, look firm. at Jeff here. Jeff says, uh, good morning. Absolutely. Working with family work for us. I see Jeff Connors. It works for him. Mm-hmm. All right. Keep on going through here. Let's see here. Anybody else? Well, that was the same situation with the good brothers. Good morning to you, Adam, also. Robert's What's up, early. Keith? Keith says, uh, is that good Keith morning. Ro- no, no, that's Keith Gailey. So, um, good morning, Robin, his better half. Hey, I will agree. She <laughs> is you. the better half. She's beautiful. She's beautiful on the outside, but she's more beautiful on the inside. She's the outside. So, she's a rare person. And, uh... She handles all the funds, too. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull it right back yeah, down Rob's to the nice end here. I pay him every two weeks. <laughs> yep. My wife gives me, my, my wife basically, I'm going to pull it right back down to the end here. Oh, his brother-in-law uh, left him, he, he left you two bad reviews. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ooh. That hurts. Well, maybe you can make amends with him. If you can't, do everything you possibly can to bury that bad review. I'm a big believer in, you know, sometimes, and, and the way you answer the review makes a huge difference all. Right. He's also. obviously wanting to vent, but sad to say, sometimes hey. children as adults, even adults, Let's have about- a hard time admitting, like, accepting responsibility if they were wrong. Like, for example, if I say, you know, I want everyone at the shop at, you know, 9 o'clock every oh, I'm single sorry. morning, and they come he's in said, at 9.30. He said he got him two bad reviews. No, I gave him two bad reviews. Okay, oh. all right. I appreciate you, that clarification. Can you send Rob to send you a message? Just take a look, see what it says. Um, I was going to say, you know, hon, I think next week would be great to talk about reviews let's talk about reviews next week okay. and what to do when you get bad reviews and what a woman's perspective is don't say now because I, I know you might all do it i like talk yeah exactly <laughs> uh, uh let's w- what do you think when you read a bad review or you're reading through a bunch of reviews that'd be a great subject for next week so i want you to pick that up for next week oh uh-huh. i'm sorry what did he say today? I don't know. He just, like, well, I guess the three i don't know why he sent it, but oh, that's our names in the concrete. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's, that's cool. All right, so he did this uh, six years ago. I knew better. I heard that, Michael. Like, to 
two or three things at one time. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. All right, well, let's go ahead and get something neat. Hey, everyone, I really, I, I, I put up a post earlier today, and I hope you got to see it. I, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and my wife's and family for all the support you've given us, and I hope we Absolutely. helped you have a, a, a better and stronger year last year, and I'm going to work harder this year. I'm also going to work harder on even being a better person all the way across the board. You know, uh, I have, I have, um, <laughs> yes, you can have an He's writing. not bad at all. Well, I'm just saying, but you know. <laughs> oh, um, always room for improvement for everybody, I think. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. But uh, this year, I really want to work hard. In the next five years, part of my five year plan, I haven't mentioned this, kind of reinventing myself to try to be better and work even with people who I don't get along with on the internet. You know what I mean? People have different perspectives. I'm really going to work harder to em employ that wisdom that I built up through the years and try to be more uh, uh, affable. That's mm -hmm. what I'm, that's my goal. Let's see. Jared Swain says, uh, thank you, Rob, for the knowledge you share with us. Respects to you and your family. I uh, appreciate thank that. You. Thank you, man. And uh, we, we're going to work really hard. we got a lot of good videos coming this year, a lot of good helpful videos. And if, if you're not part of our forum, I, I just got somebody told me told me the other day that they, they feel like the... Um, uh, truckmountforums.com is like a library to them. They like to go there and just read the library. It's for me, too. I had a customer but call on. by Rug and I'd research on Did the you? forum. Yeah, okay. they've always gone to Robert all the time. I'm trying to learn right. a lot more myself. But then but then they said, um, basically coming to our Facebook group, Truck Mount Forums, you know, cleaning professionals, they feel like that's where it's like a coffee shop where everybody can talk and stuff like that. Right, and it's a good, and yeah, chit-chat and, and get quick answers. So I thought that was really nice. So we'll continue to, to develop the videos. We'll to, uh, continue to help everybody in any form or fashion. And please feel free to reach out to me, to myself and uh, I try to make myself as accessible as possible. It is getting more difficult as we are growing more and more, but I'll do whatever I can. And remember, uh, you know, the, the greasy wheel gets uh, the, uh, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So if you, if you really have a bad problem or something like that, and you call up or you can message me on the group, I'll do whatever I possibly can to help you get through it. Okay, well, I'm Rob, and this is Sandy, and uh, we really appreciate all your support, everyone. Have yourself a great day. I see Robert's name. Yeah, well, that's Robert Hi, Webb. Webb. We're going to definitely talk about reviews next week. That's going to be our subject. Okay, all sounds right? good. We'll, we'll break down reviews from my perspective, from a woman's perspective, and a, a woman who's actually in business and who likes to buy some things, too. <laughs> all right, this is what makes you guys great, always giving back. Well, thanks, Maria. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I believe in the, in the law of reciprocity. I really do. I'm a big believer in that. Because what you put yeah, out comes come back, back to you. Yeah. Exactly. In full measure. Absolutely. And we're all going to make mistakes. So, you know, and remember, don't be so hard on your family members because we're all going to make mistakes. None of us are perfect. So, you know, you That's a, one thing afford I, your family at least as much, if not more, in working with them than you would even your employees, right? Say that again. <laughs> Ouch. But I had something well, well, you know, to say. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, overlook the shortcomings of your mate and your children. Sometimes we have a tendency not to overlook those and employees. We might overlook it. Right, absolutely. I was about know? to say that even Robert and I had that conversation occasionally when something does frustrate us. I'll stop and say, well, let's find out. Let's concentrate on their positive things that they do or, mm -hmm. you know, look at that aspect of it. And these are the other areas we can improve on, but don't just knock constantly knock down things you don't like look at all the aspects of the good things they do bring on yes yeah, uh, i know that the employees call her safety sandy and i do too but really you're almost she's generally like solution sandy she said well listen <laughs> let's just try to find a solution to the problem yeah. like, okay well that makes sense because if you do this to do the other way around and right just right. look forward to a solution there's always something that can be fixed more than likely exactly yeah. well thanks everyone yeah, thank have yourself a great day and talking about fixing something we're going to talk about fixing bad reviews next Absolutely. week Sounds and good. talk about all types of reviews so we look forward to everyone have yourself a great weekend what's left of it enjoy the football today and we'll see you guys around on the forum or the facebook group as the week progresses, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Have fun, you guys. Take care.